Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So we have another smiley package from Amazon and I thought you might like to have a look at it with me. So let's get into it and have a look. Uh, I've been using my Vipon coupons again. Oh dear. But never mind. I can't resist a bargain. I must stop buying these canvases because I'm just going to run out of space. I'm going to need a bigger house. Yay! <laughs> a bigger house more to clean ah definitely don't want more to clean right so this is a package from the beamin store on amazon and i have used beamin before that's b-e-i-m-i-n and with the coupon i got it at half price so it cost me four pound and four pence there hasn't been much on um the vipon app for damn painting there's been a couple of um, A3 light pads um, and a couple of Disney and a few Harry Potter shields and things, but there's not been much on. But if anything does start coming back on again, I will let you know. Um, oh, dirty fingers. I've just been tidying up a bit and I've managed to pick up some black pen from somewhere. That's not good, is it? Just as you start to, uh, filming. I never said I was any good at this for you, Cho Black. <laughs> so let's get into this one and have a look it's one of those that no i don't need it um but yes i just liked it because it was cute okay oh and it's quite a it's not that stiff a canvas it's quite a soft canvas but it seems to have well and truly folded up and it's a little well to be fair the actual description of it is squirrel in the snow but that's the strangest looking squirrel I've ever seen. <laughs> that's definitely a little baby fox. And I think he's so cute. Let's see if we can flatten him out a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I just saw him and I thought, nope, nope, I'm on a no buy, I'm on a no buy. And then, oops, yeah, why not? Let's get him. Oh, I got stuck there. Uh, I've been doing them um, some sealing and some putting together things and a bit of splodging with glue and stuff on various different projects in the last couple of days so i've got stuff stuck to my desk i should have cleaned it really before i started this well i thought i'd given it a wipe over but obviously not a good enough wipe over <laughs> but never mind so there you are there you are there he is that's made him a bit flatter okay and then once he's been under uh, some heavy things for a while he'll be well and truly flat oh i don't think you can really see that thumbnail it is so dark wow but yeah they've called him fox in the snow um oh snowy squirrel sorry they've called him yeah snowy squirrel and uh yeah he's, he's definitely a baby fox i think that was really cute uh we have 22 colors which is a nice big key code down this side here and mm, can't see anything that's going to give us any real problems there we've got a d we don't see it no there's no o we've got a couple of symbols and a dot um mm, that looks a little bit iffy in that dark blue there sorry about the glare again um so I'm sure it's going to turn into my catchphrase. It's another dull day here in the UK. <laughs> but yeah, that's a bit uh, iffy on the darker colour. But if you use um, a light pad underneath, then you're not going to have any problems with that. Let's give him a quick measure and see where we are. So we are yep, just under 25 centimetres, which is nine and three quarter inches by no it's not quite flat so we'll say just under 20 at uh, 35 centimeters which is 13 and a half 13 and three quarter inches so yeah not too bad see you come to expect that with a poured glue canvas these days um yeah he's quite i think he will drill up better and he is actually um a pixel painted one which there's two different sorts of canvases now and uh, I think it was um, Mindy that first well was the first person I listened to with this um, and that's where you 
little drills go on little squares um, so it's all printed out as is there is also what uh, Mindy calls a picture printed one and that's where the picture is printed and then the letters are put over the top so it's not all in little squares now I'm finding with some of those that when it's actually drilled out that the picture doesn't look as good as the picture does um, before the drills are put on it and I think that's because they're not in the squares I think if you can see where the squares are and that it's actually pixel printed so you can see how it's all blocked out in the pixels in the little squares a pixel is like um, a unit of how a picture is made up on a computer screen um, sorry I'm maybe telling my grandmother to suck eggs there I do apologise <laughs> just in case you didn't know um but yeah well i believe that's what it is anyway but yeah and i'm finding that some of them look really really good when you get them and then when you actually diamond paint them um the ones that aren't done into the squares because the lines aren't there you seem to be lose a little bit of detail maybe i'm not explaining myself very well i have to show you some i think that will probably be easier right i am joined today by uh, my little scotty dog millie moo who is on the bed at the moment uh, chewing well I'm not quite sure what she's chewing I think she's chewing a foot now she's just sticking her tongue out at me because <laughs> I've told her off so we've got uh, yeah one of the basic little tool kits which is your green boat uh, two bags I'm not quite sure well I suppose it's better than nothing but yeah two little baggies and a pink pen and some wax so that's for doing your kit um, my experiment on is it possible to do a 30 by 40 kit with just what you get in the kit is coming up shortly so watch this space right let's have a look at these drills and oh no there is no dmc codes on the bags and there is no dmc codes on the canvas and i seem to think the last beaming uh, canvases I got didn't have DMC codes either so I will get in touch with them um, and just leave them a little bit of feedback uh, and just say you know it would be nice if we had the DMC codes that's possibly why the uh, key code is so big on this one because they've not had to put the DMC numbers on it so but I mean they've got a lot of space at this side it's probably been badly cut but there's a lot of space at this side they could quite easily have added DMC numbers, at least to one side. So, yeah, unless somebody's lost an awful lot of edging off their canvas, I don't know. I think sometimes when they cut these out, they're not wholly accurate when they cut them out. Right, anyway, let's have a look at these nice colours. Uh, it's a round drill and they're at reasonable colours. So they're called PJ. I wonder if PJ sounds for plain Jane. <laughs> When I've heard other people say, oh, it's PGA packaging, um, I've not realised it actually had PG. Well, uh, I've not seen PJ on them before or I've not been observant enough to see it. Um, but yeah, so I've just always thought they meant it was a plain Jane packaging because <laughs> it's just got a white strip. It's got your canvas number on as well. So if your drills get separated from your canvas, you can just look up which one belongs to which. Right, so that's your first three colours. Yeah. Like ready, definitely a ready foxy colour there. Um, we've got a grey colour and a cream colour. And then we have a very sort of mauve off mauve lilac -y colour. And more pinky brown there. A little bit of cream. Some blues, which will all be the sky. Um, a nice red wine colour there and some more blues and that's quite a purpley blue that's going to be quite nice mate that's sky pop that's not going to be quite as dark if it's used in those colors and a little bit of green and another foxy color there and gray and orange and we have another ready orangey brown color there oh that's another god that's a fat little packet he's been eating all the pies i think that one and another blue one and a grey and a brownie colour and then a pink at the end just a little teeny tiny bit of pink there so yeah so i think he's quite cute i think we'll have a go at doing him 
30. I do like my 30 by 40s because I can complete them in a few nights and I don't have the, quite the problems that I do with doing big canvases. Pop those away. Let me grab a label. Let's get these labelled up while we're here. See, I am trying to get organised. Um, so far up to now, I am up to date on my logbook for 2022. I started in January and we're oh, coming up to the end of February nearly. And I'm sort of, uh, yeah, keeping up with it. So I can't believe it. Um, I did liken it to having a diary really where um, the diary... You start it in January and you have all, uh, what shall I call him, Snowy Fox. You have all good intentions of keeping it going. And then you just don't. <laughs> but this I am going to do because I really do need to keep it going. Because if people ask me questions about my canvases, I do need to know. Um, with these, I do like to add how many colours um, onto my drills as well. And it's the beaming store and it cost me four pounds and four pence and it is lm156 lm156 i must admit while i've been doing um the specials for splashing the specials it has helped having the uh, numbers on my little bags of drills because <laughs> To be honest, I've got so many that I've like called oil. Oil? Owl. I haven't got any called oil. <laughs> no wonder I can't find them. Uh, owl or cat or um, scene or something. So I'm going to have to start trying to be a bit more descriptive. Um, but yeah, it's a good job I had the numbers on them. Otherwise, I just wouldn't have a clue. So that will go in my box for uh, around 30 by 40s. And yes, I do have a box full of them. Must get some done. I don't count how many I've got. Hope you would go bad. And then this will go into my 30 by 40 uh, folder for rounds as well. I have a separate one for rounds and a separate one for squares. Okay, well, if you've got any questions, if you pop them in the comments down below, if you've enjoyed seeing this video, if you can give me a thumbs up, it's always much appreciated. And if you want to come back and see what we get up to next, if you press that subscribe button in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my next videos come out. So thanks ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.